ahead i would just inform that uh, we are recording this event and we'll be um, talking about the ywc india publications so before moving ahead i would like to call uh, betty ait ma'am uh, to come and just hello shabdam rakh yeah for the prayer Okay, can I start? Yes, can uh, we would like to call Betty Ive, ma'am, for the prayer. Yes, yes, yes. 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 hello, friends. Hallelujah. Shuraba, Sikora, Shikara, Haseraba. Father, we have come before you, Lord. Thank you for the wonderful time you have given to us. Even though the climate and the climate variations are going on in the world, Lord. All the calamities are happening in the midst of His yoke. Protected, protected us, and gave us the shelter, everything under Your wings, Lord. Thank you for the comfort You have given to us. Protect each and every one those who are at the umbrella of YWC, Lord. We submit them magazine for the betterment of the future generations, Lord. That you, it's in, it may let it come out be as a eye opener to all the people, those who are. Uh, all indians and also working along with the uh, ywc let it be a great move to the betterment of the association and to the <clears throat> people who are working along with it lord thank you for the effort the all the people have taken thank you for our madam lord thank you for her uh, the leadership and her guidance and her uh, comforting and uh, caring qualities which you have sh shared among us lord Thank you for all the leaders who are working along with us, Lord. Protect and uh, grace all the articles for your glory and your honor, Lord. Thank you. Thank you for this thing. Amen. Amen. Yes. So uh, we would like to um, let's go through the agenda once. So today. <laughs> Our publications. Uh, we have Mirror, the annual magazine. We have our uh, Vaidipa initiative, Toli Times, which we will be talking about further. So um, I am Yashika, and I am the Rise Up Young Women Lead from the National Office. And now I would like to call uh, Pooja Mandal, uh, who has been leading the project Rise Up with me. Uh, Pooja. Please uh, come and uh, introduce us about the event. Uh, hello, everybody. I hope I am audible. Um, and uh, I think I will keep my video off as uh, we are still yeah, facing a little network yeah. issues. And, um, so yeah, so moving on forward, uh, a very good uh, evening to everybody, a very warm evening. I know it's a very cold day here in the national office in Delhi, but I wish warm regards towards everybody and that we are all healthy and uh, uh, keeping us warm in a very un uncertain, unpredictable time. So I will give a brief introduction about the publications and then we will move forward and highlight more on each publication by the team members here. So the first publication today that we are going to discuss about is the Mirror. So Mirror is the annual magazine of the YWCA India. We will be hearing more about it from our editor-in-chief, Dr. Annie Thomas, and uh, we will discuss as to what are the elements of Mirror. Moving on, our second publication of today, uh, a Y publication booklet, which is a product of the Roundtable Conference, Inclusive Gender Roles and Interfaith Perspective. Our uh, teammate, Michelle, will speak more about the publication and give us an insight as to how and what is the material of the booklet and how did we derive into, public, uh, into publishing this booklet that we have uh, compiled together here. 
and lastly the vaidipa toli times so, so the vaidipa toli times is the vaidipa initiative it is a newsletter which is developed by ywca interns as part of their field work and which has been compiled you'll know about uh, more about the toli times newsletter and uh, how did it come into effect by our ywca uh, interns and michelle so moving on i will now um, ask um, yashika to take forward the event thank you so much everybody thank you pooja for that introduction uh, now, I, uh, now I would like to call the strong pillar behind uh, the our annual magazine, Dr. Annie Thomas, to introduce about the magazine and introduce the team to everybody. Hi, good evening, friends. Respected President, Dr. Shagutala, dear VPs, board members, National Nominating Committee members, the team from um, head office, and our NGS Kalpana, then my team members. Today is, of course, a great day for all of us YWCA members, and especially for the team, because they are all in a jovial mood, I know. So first of all, I thank God Almighty for giving us a chance to work for the YWC of India and to bring out this magazine today. So now let me introduce my team members. Myself, Annie Thomas uh, from YWC of Alapi, editor-in-chief of this Mirror magazine. And coming to Miss Priyadarshini John from Bombay Y representing the Western region, and she's the associate editor. And the co-editors are Miss um, Rohini Singh, YWC of Simla, no, representing Northern region. Miss Basa Bishwas, YWC of Balasur, representing the Eastern region. Miss Zomavi Ralt, YWC of Icewall, Northeastern region. Then Ms. Maria Dorothy David, YWC of Second Remark from Southeastern region. And Mrs. Sarah James, YWC of Kodamangalam, Southwest region. Then the front page, the cover page, and the layout is all done by our energetic, say, I can say a team leader, Ms. Yashika Shama. She's from the head office, and she's now serving as a rise up young women lead. Actually, she's a very talented person and her creativity is reflected as mirror in front of you. Then we are very happy to see that our president has kindly consented to release this magazine today. So thank you, dear Shangudala Madam, for giving us your full support to make this dream come true. So actually, uh, we got a very good response from all our members. And it's actually a reflection of the culture of our organization. So I'm very happy to see that most of our members from all the regions have expressed their views very well on these relevant topics. We have given a few themes. And based on that, they have given beautiful articles. And this, I can say that this has prompted all others to Think as well as helped us to engage with ourselves. So about the regarding the report and artworks, they are actually a mirror to the cream of our activities. So I take this opportunity to thank our NGS, Ms. Kalpana David, for offering us your relentless support for each and everything because we are having so many doubts and we are asking Kalpana to clear out all these doubts. Thank you so much, Kalpana. So I now thank all the VPs attending this function, the nominating committee members, and all the board members for their guidance, because they have all guided us to some extent. And finally, and uh, most importantly, I can say, I'm very grateful to all the members for the valuable contribution, and for also for the team members, a very big thank you. Thank you so much.
Thank you so much, ma'am. Uh, so uh, we'll just uh, move towards inaugurating our annual magazine. We couldn't meet offline for this event, but we have tried to create it online with all of you. So I would like to encourage all of you to celebrate our magazine in the chat box and also with your emoji. Uh, so we would like to uh, cut the ribbon for uh, our annual magazine edition 2022. As we can see, this is uh, the cover page and the digital edition of a mirror. Um, Pooja, can you present the digital edition? This is the cover page of our magazine and uh, I would like to thank all the editors and all the members who wrote their articles so this year's the ma this year the magazine is divided into three parts we have articles from our members uh, we have reports from uh, the different ywca local associations and also we have articles uh, we have artworks from our uh, ywca members so this way the magazine is divided in these parts and um, Yeah, you can see the reports and the artwork. I would like to call our national president, Dr. Shakuntala ma'am, to give you your keynote and encourage all the members. Thank you, Yashika. Good evening, ladies, from a very cold Lucknow of six degrees. At, it warms our hearts to see the wonderful work done by uh, all the associations and the team at the YWC of India office. Congratulations, Dr. Annie Thomas, for your leadership. Yashika, Kalpana, uh, everybody, all of you young women at the office, where Michelle and uh, Pooja, all of you, and the interns who have been working on this. Uh, it is indeed my joy and pleasure to inaugurate this, to release this, and to say that this will go down in the history of the YWC of India movement. So it is a digital edition at the moment. I hope that we will have few hard copies also for us. And this will be archived for, um, for years to come. Uh, and uh, the hard work that you have done. So congratulations. I needed to say a few things more on when we talk about communication and mirror. The, the mirror that I see Presently, the way you have focused is it's beautiful on spirituality, on different aspects of our work. There are articles written and that it really increases, increases our uh, knowledge bank and information that we have. We share ideas and uh, we are able to communicate. And it's a wonderful thing. It's like a journal that I see that they, this taking form. Um, however, I have one expectation before this board hangs our books, we all hang our books, some of us. And that is that uh, mirror, as we have known it for years now, mirrors our work. And uh, Annie, I am making this request. We haven't talked before. And the young team at the national office and all the VPs 
who are present and every member that has joined this call. That is one request that I'm making to this team is that if you could before, uh, before say July, if you could get all the YWCAs to send us what work they have done in few directions. One is um, we have our theme, Women Against Violence as we, have, we stand. Uh, what are the initiatives that we have done? The second is the YDPA, uh, numbers, initiatives. And the third is in these very, very difficult times of COVID. Each YWCA has done its own little bit. It may be a drop in the ocean, but we have touched somebody's life. And each YWCA has touched somebody's life, given them one meal on, uh, on the table, or given them one dose, help them to get vaccinated, whatever the initiative they have taken. If each YWCA could reflect that work, Annie, and we could bring out another edition, um, electronic edition of all our, our collective work of four years. These past two plus years have been very difficult for us, each one of us, and we continue to struggle with this. At the moment, Rina is there, Roselle is there, both not feeling well. And we hope and pray that you will get well. Some of us have lost dear ones. We today also mourn uh, Miss Elizabeth, Jacob, Shanta among us. And so many of us have lost loved ones. So if the mirror can reflect, you know, uh, the work done, the support extended, it would be wonderful that in difficult times, this will also go down in history to say, this is what each YWCA did its own little bit to help in this pandemic, in this world of chaos. We are communicating and it's a wonderful thing. There are blessings that we have got this electronic media to communicate with and let us use it to the maximum benefit of the movement to communicate within ourselves, with each other and be loving and caring and supporting as we move ahead in this time of uncertainty, in this time of fear, in this time of anxiety, and we keep our spiritual strength up to say that, yes, the Lord is with us. This morning's reading for me was from Hebrew uh, chapter 12. And it talked about that in whatever the circumstances is, God has a piece of land, God has a corner for each one of us. And as YWCA of India, all of us together, our piece of land as promised by the Lord today is here. So let us make the best use of each other's talent, each other's wisdom, each other's work, share, motivate, and encourage each other. Thank you, Kalpana, for your leadership. Thank you, Annie, once again. My young team at the office, brilliant work. Thank you very much. God bless each one of you. And God be with you in your journey at the YWCA as we lead many, many women. Thank you very much for this opportunity. Thank you so much, ma'am. Uh, those were really nice uh, additions. Uh, Dr. Annie and the team will definitely work on it and we'll see how it can be implemented. Um, okay. Now we will be moving towards the other publications. And I would like to call Michelle Mull, the program associate, National Program Associate of IWCA India, to uh, introduce uh, us about the booklet and the YDPA initiative, the Tolly Times. Michelle, over to you. Good afternoon, everybody. 
Good up. Can you hear me? Yes. Uh, so uh, we have with us, uh, we have with us uh, two more publications yet to be released. So uh, we had a roundtable conference on the 22nd of December. And this roundtable conference was majorly focused on uh, the topic inclusive gender roles and interfaith perspective. So uh, we, as a women's led organization, we have uh, come to together to discuss, understand, and make dialogue with interfaith leaders during this conference and talk about how gender roles need to be represented further and in a very creative and attractive way for our uh, youth. So our conference was basically a collaboration uh, with the Institute of Harmony and Peace Studies, uh, which is led by uh, Father M.D. Thomas. and. Uh, we had a conference, we had 20 people for the conference. Uh, we had representation from different religi religions and uh, also academicians who had joined to talk and debate about how it is important to understand gender in the present context of faith. And uh, right now, uh, this booklet that you can see on your screen uh, is going to release soon we have a summary of the entire conversation, the dialogue we had and the possible perspectives that we need to look into in this booklet. So uh, get your copy soon and we'll be releasing it soon in this month. And the other uh, publication that we have is the effort done by our interns uh, presenting to you the Tolly Times. So the Tolly Times is a neighborhood newspaper that has been uh, collected by the children uh, in Noida. And these children are, uh, they are young kids. They are just starting to read, starting to learn. So this initiative is under Vaidipa. And we are co collating information. And this will be further discussed by our interns team who actually went on the ground and uh, discussed and interacted with the children and got all the news for the newspaper. So over to you, Rinjan. Uh, good, evening. good evening, one and all present here. My name is Rinjan and I'm an intern in the YWC of India. I, I'm, I'm, I'm from uh, Arunachal Pradesh and I, uh, I did my graduation in social work from MIT University in Noida. And currently I'm pursuing Masters of Social Work in Community Organization and Development Practice. It was a great opportunity to work as an intern in YWC of India because I, I get to learn so many things from the, my colleagues, uh, my, my friends and the, the team at YWC of India. I, I would like to thank everyone present here for giving me this opportunity to work as an intern in YWC of India. Now I will, now Apurva will take over. Hi, so um, good evening, all of you. It's uh, very nice to see you all. And I'm Apurva. Um, I completed my graduation in bachelor's in elementary education from LSR. And, uh, and now I'm in the MA program for social work counseling at this Guwahati. Um, and I'm an intern. I'm also a storyteller and a theater uh, enthusiast. So um, with uh, my experience of working with children and uh, in uh, this, um, this idea of uh, just being with them so that they could, and uh, we could together find out, explore um, their rich lives and create a safe space where children could use their voice and express themselves. Uh, we tried to uh, uh, bring about this initiative and start and instigate it. And uh, through that process, we were able to uh, uh, roam around with children. And uh, we were also amazed to find out what they saw and what they said in their own voices. So it has been uh, an enriching experience for us as well. And over to you, Sajati. 
Um, good evening to everyone present here. Uh, I'm Sajati Vadarya, and currently I'm pursuing my MA counseling from uh, Tis Guwahati, and I have done my graduation in counts uh, in psychology from Dalatram College, Delhi University. So this is my first field work in YWC, YWCA India, and I'm extremely happy that I got this opportunity to be a part of this organization. And uh, in this organization, I have learned a lot from office work to going to field. This is one complete, you know, package of everything that I got here. It was for me experiential learning. And uh, when like after our this project of Toli Times was like such a sweet and very little and very simple thing, but with a great output where, uh, where our approach was to bring out the real essence of education and learning in, from the children, like what they see. In nowadays, we are just thinking about, you know, once you should get a degree, once you should complete your education, one should go to a formal education center, institute and things. But, uh, but we just forget, like in this race of getting education, degrees, employment, we just forget about the real essence of education. The education means learning and unlearning. Uh, learning from your experiences, your surroundings, your environment, your, your, your community. So when, when we went there, we, uh, we saw children with, you know, their own imagination out of box, creativity and things. So <clears throat> we asked, we asked children to, we asked children to go and explore and see what you see. Then these are the drawings on your screen, which you can see they drew, they drew their creativity out. Uh, and we, we gave them a platform and uh, like medium to, you know, just put their creativity and without any judgment, it's, it was a safe space for everyone so that they can just uh, put out their creativity and whatever they think about. Now this is, now this is a final product. This is the first volume of our uh, internship as like as an internship part. And this is Toli Times. And I, we hope that it, it uh, we, we, we want to circulate it and we want it to become something valuable. Thank you. Thank you so much, Sajati. Uh, so this Toli Times uh, is not only um, about understanding your society, it's not only just a project, but it's also an effort the children themselves made to actually want to learn from us as a group. And we also learned a lot. Exactly what Sajati said, learning and unlearning at the same time is education. So uh, thank you so much, interns, for... Uh, being part of the project and helping us out with it. Over to you, Yashika. Thank you, Michelle. And thank you, uh, Rinchin, Sajati, and Apurva uh, for this beautiful uh, publication which we came out together. So uh, now I would like to call the Vice President of Southeast Region, uh, Nymphia Ma'am, to uh, uh, felicitate all the members uh, through your encouraging words. Good evening, everyone. This is your Southeast Vice President, Nymphia Reddy, speaking from Secunderabad. We have all gathered, unfortunately, virtually for the release of these YWCA publications. Uh, we have allowed these publications to speak up for the voiceless, emphasizing on the importance of the constitutional foundations, the oneness of humankind the primacy of service to the common good as an ethics that should guide individuals and social life, especially during the COVID-19 times. Uh, briefly to speak on the three publications, uh, Mirror is our publication that provides a space for our members and staff to bring out talent and to express with freedom. For the 2022 edition, articles of the following themes were invited that is uh, financial empowerment, spiritual well-being and its reflections, digital literacy, coping strategies for the post-COVID era, and women as green ambassadors for a sustainable human society. We also uh, released the interfaith booklet. This was a discussion on faith and gender perspectives with the Institute of Peace and Gender Studies, based on which a booklet has been compiled uh, the overview has just been shared. 
Tolly Times, which is a children's newsletter. This is an e-publication, which was compiled by our interns, whom we were just introduced to. It was so refreshing to see youngsters amongst us speaking for the YWCA. They have interacted with the slum children of Noida. A report on their observation and news of this community has been compiled as this newsletter. Kudos and a big thank you to the National Publication team who did the arduous task of compilation and finalization of the publications that I just spoke about. The Editor-in-Chief, Dr. Annie Thomas from Alipi, the Associate Editor, Priya Darshini John from Bombay and also from the Western Region, Basa Biswas from Balasore, the Eastern Region, Rohini Singh from the Northern Region, who's from Shimla, Zoramvai Ralte from Aizol from the Northeast Region, Maria Dorothy David from Secunderabad, who's from the Southeast Region, Sarah James from Kotamangalam from the Southwest Region, and of course, thanks to Kalpana David, our National General Secretary, and Dr. Shakuntala David, our National President, who definitely have supported this Department of Publications. Over to you, Yashika. Thank you. Thank you, ma'am. Uh, and it has been really great that all the members have been motivating. And it's such a support that we will be working more toward all these publication and more for such programs. Uh, now we are moving to the end of the program. And to thank everybody, uh, I would like to call our National General Secretary, Kalpana David, ma'am, to uh, give the vote of thanks. Good evening to all of you. <coughs> I hope you can hear me. Uh, first of all, thank you, Dr. Annie, for making this possible once again. The mirror has come out. Uh, this is the second edition, and uh, we are looking forward to further more editions before we close this quadrennium. Uh, Dr. David, also thank you to you for adding, giving uh, your suggestions for taking out another publication, which will cover more details about the work that the Quadrenium has been doing related with the associations. This will be taken care of uh, shortly, and we hope to come out with it maybe before the convention happens. Uh, special thanks to the interns. Uh, I, they didn't tell you that they have come from Guwahati. They were interning with us a very short time, but in that short time, they have made added so much value to the YWC of India work, uh, which is surprising because they just took it up the, from the first day onwards. They were passionate. They were wanting to do a lot of things. And NOIDA is something that we have thought of as a second uh, project. We already have one in their uh, Trilokpuri, but we want to diversify and go into NOIDA, which is a Dalit community. Uh, we have started working with them and the story time is not a first initiative. It will keep on being replicating not only in Delhi, and we hope that the local associations will also start it with their communities. So we get voices from the children, because that is where we have to start focusing on. Uh, Rinchen is the first male intern with us, so he has created history. So we hope that the local association also starts inv inviting uh, men to be part of our internships, to be part of our uh, contacts, so that we are able to have a different view, a different perspective from a different gender group uh, and keep on working towards what is our mandate for the next quadrennium, where, where we want to work closely with men and boys to make a difference. So once again, thank you all. Thank you, my staff team, uh, Michelle, Pooja, Yashika, who have really done a good work, Yashika with her talents of putting this all together. And the important person is their mentor, Dia, who is always there supporting them. And because of this, we have been able to uh, launch this program today. Thank you once again to all of you who have been present here. Thank you to the board who has always uh, inspiring us and motivating us to do things differently. Truly appreciate all your support. Thank you. Thank you so much, ma'am, for your motivating words. And uh, it's 
a special thank you to you and Dia for letting us know, uh, for letting us work and give us the space so that we can work and use our creativity and skills. Uh, and also thank you for everybody for joining. I, in the end, I would just like you to, um, um, I would just initiate that all these publications are there on our website, which is www.ywcaindia.com. You can access them online. As you can see, uh, we have displayed the website. It's there in the publication resources center, uh, knowledge hub, and there's this publication options. So from there, we will be uploading uh, mirror as well as Stoli times as the YDPA initiative and everybody of, uh, can access that online and we can uh, spread our word to the local associations and all the members to access it and um, go through it and do give your feedback and anything you want to add in the future editions as well. So these are all the publications which we have had further and uh, we can also look the current ones soon. So we will be uploading them. This was last year's edition. This was also the online one. And um, we will be also uh, trying to get the hard copies of the mirror. And um, you can access it online on our website. Thank you so much, everybody, for joining this event today. Share. Share. Bye. Thank you. God bless. Bye, everybody. Bye. Nice Thank you. Ashiga, one correction. Please check, yes, check my please check my spelling of my name. Betty I okay. I P E only. Not no okay. Y is there. Please. Okay. Thank you. Yes, Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, all of you. Thank you, Annie. Thank you, all the team, Shagundu, madam, and all the friends. Dia, Shagundu. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Thank you all. <laughs>